guys, Underdog just here. Welcome to another episode of my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play. Last time we just really didn't do all that much. We found out, Makoto actually found out about us being the Phantom Thieves. But that's basically it. We also enhanced our bromance with Ryuji and stuff like that. And today we have to get intel on the ma Mafia and stuff, otherwise Makoto is going to report us to the police because she's a pushover apparently. Anyway, we have things to do this evening so I guess let's just go do stuff this evening. And I found out you can actually play darts properly which is good so we're just gonna call Ryuji over and do that. Darts. Invite the teammates. Playing together will help you bond. Also see how your party members play darts by pressing square. You can also play darts by yourself, you won't be able to increase the bonds with your teammates but you can practice as much as you'd like. Right. Okay. What do you want to do? Uh in fact no. Nothing right now. Because we do need to get our charm and everything up, so I think we should prioritize that for now. Let's just see how far off we are from increasing stuff. Hey. Think. We're gonna think on the toilet. Because, you know, Ren is a classy guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go to work. Then we can unlock the thing with the Toronosuke guy. I've been waiting. Hello. I actually need you to get started right any away. Questions? You have any questions? What does the work entail? Let me explain. Take orders, prep them, serve them, wing them up, and then clean the store. The, meal, the meals are already made, so it should be simple. Just make sure you're nice. I'm always nice. Not really. Thanks in advance. Okay, I need to head out. Keep an eye until I get back. <sighs> this job is ludicrous. You'll have to do everything all by yourself from the very beginning. Yeah, that reminds me of my first job, actually. <laughs> Just being in the store all by myself for like 14 hours with no supervisor or anything. That was such a fun time. There are dirty plates still left on the table and there are customers in front waiting to pay. Are you going to be okay? Nice work. Good work. You can leave now. This is your pay. Thank you. Keep it up. That was so hard. This job is so demanding. But you still manage all those orders by yourself. You are pretty proficient if you ask me. Am I proficient? She went up. Good job, me. Alright. Let's head back. Let's leave. I agree. This place sucks. Are the Phantom Thieves just Just what? Hey. The Art of Charm, sure. The ABCs of picking up ladies. Mm. Picture of the author just irritates me. Hey, hey. Oh, what questions do I have to answer now? That guy's here. I will go ask him. We're counting on you. Leave it to me. That motivation makes me nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Oh, I will let you know anything, you skay. <laughs> oh, it's this guy again. I hate this here? guy. Apparently, the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well. She's been trying to do I so. This absurdity was nothing but a joke. 
Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered... This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. She's doing her best. Put her some slack. Jesus here. Christ. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. Ah, uh, kids these days. So I handed a bill over at a convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. Well, what I gave them was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobu Ito is. I shudder to think that the, that these will be the people shouldering Japan's economy. I hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. Hey, I'm a Mia. Yes? Between paper bills and coins, which one is issued by the government? Uh... Coins? This is it. Exactly. That was a lucky guess. Paper bills are printed by the bank and coins are issued by the government. Originally the government made both coins and paper money, however with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. An independent organisation, namely the Bank of Japan, has since been tasked with printing money. Lady Anne's going to talk to that guy. You're going to back her up. Oh, am I? Okay, sure. Well, I'm like so I have a choice. I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kun. Please. <sighs> she don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um. Now that you mention it. Yes. So, um, what I mean is... This is going south fast. Uh, oh, Francois! Huh? Hmm? Francois? My cat Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Oh my too. god. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. What? Rumors? So why me? Nishiyama who? Nishiyama? Oh, uh. Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's. She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on, let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Sure, it's not like I have a choice. Mm -hmm. Again. It's a catchy coon. <sighs> right. I thought there's some Japanese there that I can't quite see, but translate it anyway. It probably comes out to go over catchy now I think about it. Do you have a minute? What do You're you want? I right? don't like you. I'm help you out, so please ask me anything. Uh, where's Nishiyama? Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki san was chasing him. Yeah, probably. I'm sorry. I don't know where he is right now. Well, you're kind of useless then, aren't you? Get out of my face. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere. I'll keep digging around. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not being very helpful, Mishima. 
Yo. Uh, Nishiyama. He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library. On the floor above this one. Hey! Hmm. What are you doing? Hmm? Ah, it's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. You're standing quite close to it. By the way. How is the investigation going? I don't believe there's much time left at this point. Do you have any info? Well... You mean about the bulletin? Sorry, but there's nothing I can say to you Actually, right now. Anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. I hope you can return with good news. And don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. Yeah. She seriously just stood so close to it. Is there something interesting you? You're right. Okay. Yep. Yes, that is. Nishiyama kun. Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? Yep. You need something. What happened to Ida? Ida? How do you know about that? Because I know things that you don't. Are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I want to help him. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? Yes. Tell me what you know. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. Okay. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? I, mean, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Anything else? Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Have you figured anything out then? I have tried looking into this hyping part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here too. Supposedly a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street and your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime related. It takes 10 minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Probably. Uh, drugs? Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Yep. Did you meet... Ishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it he got he got involved in some kind of suspicious job and that job is totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs. And they do it on Central Street. Is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Okay. Not like I can do anything else because it forces me into doing this. And you're still here. You're right. Are you sure you're okay? You've just been sitting with that bulletin board for quite a long time. What is it? Is it a picture of sushi or something? Well, see you later. No, it looks like an audience sat in a theatre or something like that. What's wrong with you? Ren's thighs are thicker than Makoto's. Why am I pointing out dumb stuff like this? Yeah. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. Well, uh, still doing that? All right, take over for her. 
Uh, give it up. Uh, come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. You're lying. You did? Yep. Bastard. Damn it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Sure. Just don't matter us, please. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? <laughs> You're a pizza smuggler. <laughs> That's right. You have to smuggle it to people while it's still hot. I mean, not that kind of smuggling. I don't know what you heard earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you getting at? <laughs> you're a drug smuggler. How did you... I've only told one person about that. Yeah, and he told us. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They yep. started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Not a bad idea. Nope, I would never do that. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. I don't need your money anyway. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? So can I go? Well then. Bye. How'd it go? Did and acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits. To you probably shouldn't be searching for that on your phone, Ryuji. So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them. That must be what I heard people talking about. They seem to be going about this quite openly, but bold method methodology. I would imagine they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. More students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Beauty, you're in Shibuya now, right? Do you see anything there? I'm at Central Street, it's tough to tell though. There are just way too many people, the rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon, what do we do? Let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, it seems like our only choice, we can split up and search separately then. In any case, we have some new intel, let us call that progress for today. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for disappointing you, I guess. I never get many Christmas when it rains. The cash redish cash res register is gonna run dry at this rate. <sighs> More dialogue. Great. We have to find them tomorrow th for sure. It's highly likely that this part time solicitor is somehow related to the mafia. If we tell him, he may lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Ido and Nishiyama over at Central, Sh Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that's where our target waits, but then who should be the one to go? Morgana, I choose you. Ryuji would stand to out too much. Yeah, he's too loud and obnoxious. <laughs> they never trust someone like that. Okay, at least be nicer about it. Wait, what? Let's just leave this to our leader, we'll be counting on you. Uh, tricking people, they're cowards. Kinda scary. But yeah. I do all kinds of chores. 
Okay. What can I do though? Let's watch a DVD. Damn, they shut off the power. How are we going to rig an alarm now? Whoever said you need electricity to make an alarm? Give me that empty soda can. I'll just tie it to this string. Hmm. Impressive. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well then. Let's head to bed. Okay. Good night, Morgana. So stuffy in this bag. Oh, should I call Morgana Nebby now? And so Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was it about? Her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's just trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Okay, we're all here. Hey, Yusuke. They're sure You're looking good today. I like your purple shirt. They must be targeting them somehow. And your black Finding trousers. Finding specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab them by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Alright, let's go. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. I'm ready. Oh, and I see Makoto in the back there too. Really? Atlas. Really? Can I can I photobomb this? Oh yeah. We're a good looking trio, aren't we? Anyway, off I go. Yo. Hello. I'll be counting on you. Is she following us? Yeah, she's definitely following us. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? <laughs> hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm not interested. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? You're free to look as much as you want. It's fine by me. Hey, don't talk to him. Let's get moving. All right. Hey. What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often. Are you in the mafia? Why are you talking about that dangerous stuff all of a sudden? I don't know anything about them. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Introduce me. That ain't so easy, I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station, go there if you want to see him. I see. Apparently he's near the train station, so let's go there. Miss President's here, I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe, I guess she's just curious. Well, let's just ignore uh, her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on your guys' end? Nothing so far. I'll check out around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I'll get the more intel in the underground shopping mall. Please continue on your end, Ren. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. Okay. 
Oh, you're here again, are you? Oh. I'm looking for someone. Mm. You're trying to find a homeless person. That's a good idea. They would know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there were some in the underground area. Mm. Mm. We should go check it out. Hey, I was on a message board this, the other day and came across this Bill 10,000 at HQ. Is that code or something? It seems a little suspicious. Yeah, a lot of people have been having weird conversations like that online. Hmm. And what, oh, there's that homeless guy. Yo. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say, just say it. Are you in the Mafia? Me? No, I'm just a lonely hermit. What could you possibly want with them anyway? Don't go near them, they're horrible people. Some of my friends have fallen victim to them. That the Mafia is evil. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area around now. But just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart. They use some weird phrases, code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of, it, of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teenagers. How's it going? Have you found anything? Maybe a little? So you've already grasped something and to be expected of someone like you. So if it seems like I'm struggling to read, I'm just... I just... I'm kind of struggling to read. Why don't we just go over it until we have gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly some guy knew the access way. I'm just going to skip through all this because reading is really hard. Right. We should I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. All right. Station Square, Back Alley, Techio Building. The Back Alley sounds like the most dan not dangerous, but suspicious. Hmm? <sighs> I'm simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade? You're a high school student, aren't you? You better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. It, yeah, it's a place where you play games. What shady stuff could ga go on there? So let's just head down here. Hello. Hi. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Maybe. Things are going well. That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. That's You're true. high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Your shirt is ugly. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Violence isn't the answer. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Sure. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. Oh, really? Whatever gave you that impression? Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. 
It's no problem. I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well too. No They're wonder the me. police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. How about it? Wanna meet up? Let's do it. Do you think it's safe? We did ask a lot of people. We should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting, so let's disband and report our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can chop we can talk in private. That must be what they call hustle ha hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. <laughs> Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Yeah, it kind of does. That's gross. It's an unknown number. Yeah. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto, Nijima. Yeah. Thanks. I kind of guessed. How do you get my number? I dug it up. Sure. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Um. Bye, I guess. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Yeah, Said that's... she's got something that belongs to you. That's she the same seemed person. To know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. She's kind of quirky. Let's go back to... Central Street, we turn that DVD, get a new a new one. Oh look, there's Mishima. The kid no one likes. Which is hardly surprising to be honest. What would you like? Charm, kindness, proficiency, guts. Not so hot Betsy, sure. I don't plan. Nice. Yes. Let's Look see. at you. How can you expect to write for a fashion magazine when you dress like a fashion victim? Because I really like words and pants. It's a story about a woman struggling against adversity and prejudice. So it's a parody of Ugly what? Betty. Looks have nothing to do with what's inside. I can sympathize with her. I see. What's really important is not your appearance, but what's on the inside. Maybe you learned a thing or two about charm by watching this. We meet again, but my what murky weather we're having. Yep. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind oh, of target will you choose next? What do you think? You're perceptive, Akechi. Uh, I have no idea. To be blunt, neither do I. There's just not enough material to form any concrete thoughts. Come on, stop looking However, so depressed. I'm positive they'll soon target someone who will garner even more attention. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. We'll let you know, don't worry. What's out here filming with in the background there? Aw, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. And we're going nowhere with this. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below. I want to sing a love ballad with you, Sky. Hey, 
Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? Yeah, Makoto should get you up and mean sing. Change our target? Just gotta show oh, her that's what you mean. That's okay. her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Exactly. Han's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? I really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Uh, what about the media? That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? Yeah. The business card says Ichigo Ohio of Maya Mayasa newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. Oh yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, eh, come on, let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> uh, you say you're alive? <sighs> Anyways, uh, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Did you drink too quickly? Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Hey. Hey, Coffee Dad. The chief's as sharp as ever, but it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Oh. Yeah, let's call Kawakami. Hi. Hi, this is Becky. Thanks for calling me, Anis. We need. Uh, hold on. It's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework. Sure. Can we come and clean my room? It seem she seems to be thankful that I requested her. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Thank you for using our service. Oh no, she's gonna call me again. Oh, no, Makoto. Mind. They're asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumours about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumours, I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should be nothing for you to worry about, just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> They're unforgivable. Mikoto has a nice apartment. Yo, did that Vitochi get in touch with you yet? We only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know, I've been looking for info but can't find, find anything. You only got two weeks left, we're in a hurry. It's ten days to be precise. 
he ain't gonna have much time even if he start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond. Don't jinx it. I'm merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Aren't you nervous? Nervousness will not solve anything. Were that the solution to our problem, I would much I would be much quicker to turn to panic. I think she's just a well, I think you're just an idiot, Ryuji. Leave him alone, he's smarter than you are. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. <sighs> oh, she's got a lot of pressure on her. More dialogue. We have our target, we also have the Mafia to deal with, so make sure the timing is right. Let's meet up let's meet to the hideout when you're ready. Hey. Now, who should I see? Sure, let's see Ryuji. Hey! Yo! By the way. The the video Ryuji. The hell are you talking? <laughs> anyway, he's a teacher who's going to be the new track team advisor. He doesn't give a rat's ass about the sports or students. I heard this rumor. Apparently, he got in trouble before with his drinking, but that hasn't kept him from going out. Maybe he'd let something slip when he's drunk. We should try and tail him sometime. You gonna train? Uh, sure. We can meet at something. Somewhere's gotta be open. Let's try looking around the school. Hmm. We don't really got a good place to train, huh? I, I mean, we probably run into Nakaoka and then, and then if we stuck around here, you got any ideas? We can train at my place. Seriously, think we'd get any training done there? I bet we'd just end up eating ice cream and playing video games. That's just kind of what happens, you know. I mean, we could smear ice cream on each on each other and lick it off. And anyway, um, yeah, we can go to the gym if you'd prefer. Oh. Whoa. Takeshi, the hell are you guys doing? We just have a few questions for Nakaoka, it's none of your business. So you're gonna ha ask him questions with your fist? Isn't that cowardly? The only coward here is him. All the stuff Kamashida put us through is his fault. <sighs> He's telling him secrets the whole time. That's a load of bull. You should trust him. That's right, you've been training together for ages. Plus, the truck team's coming back, you don't have to fight. Sh shut up. I'm telling you he sold us out. How do you think he found out about your parents? He's gotta be a snitch. Whoa. Out of the way, we'll beat you two if we need to. Go for it if it makes you feel better. 
but you're gonna wish you didn't. Trust me, it feels bad looking back at bad stuff you've done, huh? Look, even if he was doing that, it's fine now, right? He's gone so you can just put this behind you. No reason to fight. We can't keep people around who are gonna try and undermine our team. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't working with Kamoshida. My answer will be the same, no matter how much you hit me. We have proof though. Huh? Yamauchi? Come on, we have to get out of here. It'd be bad if someone else shows up. <sighs> you okay? What the hell was that? Stay out of this, it's nothing to do with you. But... When you hit Kamoshida, you were also hitting us who tried hard to endure his bullshit. It made life harder for us. We lost the one place we could vent our frustrations. And tension was high after that, and they've been rough since then. If you think it's fine now, then you're mistaken. Uh, yeah. If you told him, you told him I'm over that stuff anyway. Besides, uh, I realised something. I might have messed up back then, but hanging on to that isn't going to help. I'm just going to focus on being myself now. What are you talking about? Really? Hey. You understand, right? Absolutely. Hmm. I guess being free is like... It's like how I feel when I'm talking to you. Guys, it's an OTP. <laughs> uh, can you explain? I don't know how to, I just feel free. Huh. What, we still can repeat? They're so gay for each other. And I'm okay with it. Alright. That was some funny shit. So much for training though, let's, let's go. go. We should grab we should grab ramen. Sounds really good. Still want some ramen. Hey Ryuji. You good? Uh, sounds like you two were close. Not really, but we put a lot of work in together. And I hate seeing groups get driven apart. Something about that guy's shady and he's gonna do a full get investigation. Okay. Oh, what now? The journalist responded. The Crossroads Bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? Looks like this Crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Will you be my escort? Where did you learn about those kinds of things? <laughs> Anyway, Shinjuku is a nightlife district full of temptation. Brace yourself. I'm the master of self-control. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Shinjuku at night. That sounds dangerous. Where shall we meet? It will be easier with less of us. Of course Yusuke doesn't have money. Me and Ren will go, okay? Got it. I guess there's no need to worry if Ren's going. I'll leave it to you. Let's meet up in Shibuya. Be careful. Yeah, Yusuke, you really need to save your money. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? No, I'm not that stupid. It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. You're in your uniform? Yeah, of course Ryuji didn't change. Huh? No choice. 
I didn't have the time to go home. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. Pretty sure they will. Looking good. That's not the issue! <laughs> Are you both idiots? Yes. I'm just saying now. I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Well, you're just a cat, you can run off. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. Come on, I'll guide you. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. Show me, Uchi. Is this really going to be okay? Sure. Oh, okay. I have to go down here first. Then down here. I can now go to Shinjuku. Hey. Okay, let's go meet that journalist. Whoa! Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around. You look like a tourist. Whoa. I was just trying to find a place we're looking for. Crossroads bars right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Welcome to our izakaya. How about some all you can drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you underage? Is that a problem? Heh, so you're just a kid. Get out of here. You're in the way. A weird mascot. Hey man, you wanna comply? Touch all you want, no added fees. We have the cutest girls in town too. Tell me more. <laughs> did you really just ask? Yes, I did, Ryuji. You handed me a flyer for mate, so you can't really judge me for this. <sighs> just ignore the guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's shady. You guys ruin all my fun. You have a moment? What's up? Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. I'm not a student. I'm a college student. Oh yeah, we're adults, you see? Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Maybe on the news. Oh yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Is that a school uniform? No. Shit. Now you kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. Let's run. How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Also, the fortune teller just popped out of nowhere. Me? Yes. For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else. In any case, horrible disaster is coming for you. Please, let me examine your future further. What? Me? Yes, I suggest you get your fortune told. What I say will surely come to pass. Uh, more of this shit? Sorry, but we're in a hurry. And I don't really believe in that stuff anyways. I see. My apologies. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. May your fortunes be well. Um, by the way... Okay, you can't talk to her properly right now then. So this is where we have to go. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? Yep. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. Uh, we got caught last time, too. I'm not in my uniform. You're useless. I can't say nothing back. 
feel bad, but I'll leave this to you guys. I'm sorry for you, Jake. He looks so dejected. I feel welcome, so bad. Welcome, welcome. How old are you, boy? Um. Sorry, Lala-chan. He's with me. Thirty. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? Hey, how's it hanging? Lala-chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Wow, you're so generous. Ah, oh, she reeks of booze. <laughs> what a surprise! I thought you were joking, yet here you are! She's I drunk. respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Ah, uh, who controls Shibuya? Oh. Why that? I need intel on that boss. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. I yes. was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. Okay. So, do you have any info on these phantom thieves? Maybe I do. Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the phantom thieves because of it. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? Yep, I know. Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. It seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so... What do you say? Hmm... A student who suffered from abuse. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. I accept your offer. It's a deal then. Send me your friend's contact info later. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Sure, Morgana. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Well then, you can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. No, I know. So, so good. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? You we wanna... need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. You want to get a refill on my if you glass of water? You should leave right after you finish your water. Yes! Alright, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with the Ryuji. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of the movie theatre, so head on over. Is that kind of open area you pass down your way to the bar? So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? Alright, let's go. There he is. Hey, Ryuji. Hey. Head away then. You get any dirt on our next targets? For real? Yep. Hey. Not so loud. Junior Kanashiro and enter. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. It will be better when we have the whole team together. Right, I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. Dude. This is totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He would. He really would be natural. But a graphic tee with plaid pants? Ugh, kill me now. Uh, who the hell are they? 
Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel, straight out of hell. Oh my god. <sighs> and I'm Julian. Julie, if you're feeling saucy. Ew. What a cute cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drug scene. I'd say we show him the ropes. You can't deny it. We sh saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. Whoa. Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we were just investigating or something. Uh, <laughs> but you're a natural. <laughs> I'm gonna be a natural disaster if you don't get me out of this. Oh, honey, you've got the... I don't even know what that word is. Those cheekbones, I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, Stone. We're gonna put your name in lights. And I know just the dress for you. Oh, uh, well, hopefully Ryuji finds his cotling, or at least makes it out alive. Wanna head back? There's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head on for the night. We're just gonna leave Ryuji. <laughs> Did you find any clues? I'll tell you tomorrow. Considering how you're trying to keep us in suspense, I think it will be good news. Well then, let's meet up tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. That was surprisingly easy. Poor Ryuji. <laughs> Shinjuku show was crazy, huh? Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me. She said she's interested. What's this about? And is she cute or is she hot? You'll see. Don't tease me. I'm gonna lose sleep over this. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can someone get? <laughs> Your desperation is showing, Mishima. Uh, yep, good for you. Looks like my time in the limelight has finally arrived. This is all thanks to you. I feel like the fun side has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. I won't, I'll make sure not to embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. You poor naive fools. Unremarkably attractive woman to ever work fashion, Betsy. God, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Wait. It looks like this say? woman takes love first, discovering why he loved her in the first place. Hmm. Oh. So we finished watching Not So Hot Betsy. Well, my charm has got to be coming up okay. to the next rank soon. Well, then. And time for bed. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Oh, you skates looking good. Again, like always. Anyway, you okay, Miyuchi? How'd it go last night? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. Okay. I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav. And just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other key words. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever key words we can come up with. Ah, oh, that's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No. No candidates found. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. No candidates found. No, not even close. How about it? Can you think of anything? A bank. I see. 
Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Yep. Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? If we're talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout? How about a real bank? His cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? A bit. Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This yeah, I wouldn't expect you to understand me, Uchi. It's money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? Yeah, for once. The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. In that case, let's They're pretty go. much calling themselves trash. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best we focus on finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. Yeah, his hideout's gotta be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. Let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. Another ATM on the floor. This is terrible. Just what happened to him? Also, there's like money stuffed in all of these shops and buildings. Kind of depressing to see. Hey, look at that person trembling over there. Do you think he's a victim? We should talk to him. Uh. Do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me. Can we? Uh, please forgive me. Where's Kanishiro? I don't have any more. Please, I'm telling you, not even one yen. Come on, man. Well, cool it. But I'm not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others. Were you assaulted? Eek. <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. Okay, I can't go around there. So... Joker! Perhaps. Are those... 
no. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. So... Damn it. All of these are kind of Shiro's victims. That would appear to be the case. Joker. Let us try checking around the station again. We may have missed something. Oh, this guy here, I think. Wait. Oh look, do you think he's a victim too? Hey. Can we have a word? It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Can't you tell? I've I've fallen so far. From a place where Kanashiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? What could that mean? You gotta tell us a little more then. I'm too tired. Please let me rest. It doesn't look like this one's gonna say anything. Kanashiro leaves no tracks. This is does he mean that literally or could it be figurative? Hey. Why don't we go over all the intel we have? Hmm. They have apparently fallen quite far. Wait, they've fallen from a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave tracks. Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high? Uh You mean like a skyscraper? No. Wait. What's that? Is that it? Up in the air. No wonder we couldn't find it. Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. So, uh, how do we get up there? Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. You're useless! Come on! Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Beauty! Shut it! I'm not some robot cat! I mean, I'm not a cat at all! This may be the limit of what we can do today. <sighs> we gotta find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Okay. Alright, we should get out of here for now. Run for it! I have a new message. Evening? It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. Yep. You free? Slow day? I'm texting you amid my busy work schedule. It's about Kanashiro. The police haven't tracked him down, so I dug deeper. Turns out he's got some shady connections. Shady connections? He's not someone you should be messing with. That's all I wanted to say. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. <sighs> and just when we find a palace, it's all the way up in the sky. What a pain. Now, what do you want to do? Let's study. Make sure your clothes up. Can I talk? <laughs> nice pen trick, Ren. Well then. I've been thinking lately about those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive. Sorry, I I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... 
isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. Wow. Eat away at my life. You're such a bitch. <sighs> Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. <laughs> Makoto, I know she's your older sister and everything, but just slap her. I just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these phantom thieves of hearts. I just wonder why bother stealing hearts? You can't do anything with them, they have no value either. If I, were, if I were them, I would go for something with a concrete clear value, like gold. Speaking of, there's another kind of metal that's very valuable in its own way. They're called minor metals and they're used in many electronics. In fact, most of you probably have some on your person right now. In your pockets or purses. Give me an answer. Will you listen to Kamaki-san? Give me one example of something most of you have that contains minor metals. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! Help her out, okay? Hey, this doesn't look good! Well, I don't know at all. Sorry, can you help me out? Something that uses minor metals, and all of us have something like that on us. Uh, right now I've got my lipstick, my f smartphone, and mascara. What do you think? One of those has minor metals in it, right? Uh, smartphone? Oh yeah, she said something about electronics, right? Okay, I'm finished. So that must be the answer. This is it. Correct. Thanks. No problem. Got nothing. Are we out of luck? Kind of. It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. If only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Hmm? What do you want? Nothing in particular. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Wow. Useless? Right now, you're useless to me. All you do is eat away at my life. To be frank, yes. You stay. You stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? <laughs> Guys, you're being... Way too hard on so you her. Wish to get in contact with Kanashiro. That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Something like that. Hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. Shut up, Yuji. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. What exactly is she planning on doing? She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Yeah, we should go after her. She has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be. I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Uh, what is up with her? Let's go, guys. Too many people here. We're never gonna find her. Hello, it's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Huh? Who is it? Do you guys know Kanashiro? What? That idiot! What's she doing? I heard I could find someone named Kanashiro if I came to Central Street. Central Street? Run. She's being too rash. 
What are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students of Shuzhen Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in! Hey, wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Is she still on? Contact Kanashiro, son. Tell him we got a good one. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her if she's Kaneshiro-san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them! Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll... Okay, I've got their license plate. Their sketching skills will come in handy. like that. <laughs> so, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san. What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits! Holy moly! I agree. That bag you saw the other day, the crocodile one, how much was it? About three million. Ah! <gasps> For real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. So... Why is his face so luck. small? What is that supposed to mean? Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? Uh, that's... Oh, damn, I got booze and cigs in the shot. Maybe some drugs, too. Ah, oh, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million yen by then, no less. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. <laughs> now get wow, this guy's a real piece of shit. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. We bleed for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for the worse. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to drag you in like this. <laughs> for real. I was stupid. Yeah. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke. I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. We'll sort it out. Don't worry, Makoto. Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. A lot happened after we lost our father three years ago. 
so it's just us living together. But I'm still a child, so all I am is a burden to her. Hmm. And that's why you were so reckless? I just wanted to be useful in some way to someone. You know, I might not get your whole situation, but ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Don't say that. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? Nope. No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. If only we could do something about that bank. Ryuji. Bank? Uh, he oh, slipped up. Right! The bank! She isn't useless at all! She may be our key in! Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? A cat? Um... Are you all okay? <laughs> I kind of just we've forgot she's so bad. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. Whoa, I don't follow this at all. Of course. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Won't you come with us? What? Wait, to where? Yeah, where are we going? Beats me. A canine? It's Fox. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? I'm not! Oh my god. Uh, the cat that was in his bag. <laughs> this is what happened. She's just stalking on the floor. That voice. Takamaki san? Where are we? We're inside Kaneshiro's. Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? <sighs> My goodness. <sighs> I I'm sorry, it's just... But since this really exists, I can't doubt it. A reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? Yes. That's something we have no idea about. I see. So stealing one's heart, that may be like overriding their cognition. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? We're about the same! Then... Does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world, too? Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kaneshiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kaneshiro down. 
Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. If okay. I become a customer of that bank, Lead the way. then they'll have to let me in. For real? It came to us. And I'm still the OG's just line. as I calculated. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? Yeah. I thought that I'd be able to get in. Since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue after all. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Why? Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We are totally robbers. You got that right. Mm. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Self defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. We have to go in from the front, don't we? I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Well, let's put that to the test then. Come on, let's go. So I will be ending the episode here and we'll carry on from next time. So if you liked the video hit the thumbs up, it does let me see that you want to see more of this content. Subscribe for more, I think more videos and future let's plays and turn on the bell and hit all notifications. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.